Hey everyone, welcome back. How's your day going? I hope you're doing great, because today we're diving deep into one of the most exciting electric vehicle stories out there. The question on everyone's mind right now, does Aptera finally have the money it needs to go into full production? Let's get into it. Aptera, the ultra-efficient solar-powered vehicle that looks like it came straight out of the future, has been making quiet but powerful moves. They're not just another EV startup promising to change the world. They've been methodically building toward that goal, step by step. And the best part? They're closer than ever to putting their first vehicles on the road. But before we start celebrating, let's look at the real question. Can they actually afford to make it happen? Aptera's team recently revealed something fascinating. They've got a roadmap, and the next $65 million is the magic number to push them into low-volume production. This funding milestone isn't just about writing checks. It's about validating the entire manufacturing process, from the first full vehicle builds, to fine-tuning the production lines, to ensuring every component works exactly as it should. Once that phase is complete, it unlocks something bigger real customer deliveries. That's when Aptera goes from prototype to product. Now, this $65 million doesn't come from just one place. It's a strategic blend of financing sources, equipment loans, debt, equity offerings, and most importantly, their recent NASDAQ listing. That's right, Aptera's debut in the public market isn't just symbolic. It's a key that opens doors to large-scale funding and broader investor confidence. One of the most inspiring updates from the team is their decision to become a public benefit corporation. That's not a vanity title, it's a commitment. It means Aptera is legally bound to put purpose over profit. Their mission is crystal clear. Bring solar mobility to the masses. This isn't just about making cool cars. It's about changing how humanity moves. Their leadership, Chris Anthony and Steve Fambro, have emphasized that their focus extends to community, environment, and innovation, not just shareholders. And honestly, that's refreshing in an industry dominated by profit-driven giants. Now, let's talk about where they actually stand. Aptera has already completed key stages like software testing, suspension calibration, and validation builds, all the behind-the-scenes engineering that makes a vehicle safe, stable, and road-ready. At this point, the next big hurdle is crash testing. Once that's cleared, it's green lights all the way. In the meantime, they've been running their Artemis tour, taking prototypes across cities like Scottsdale, Arizona, to build excitement and let potential customers get hands-on experiences. It's a smart move because seeing the car in person, touching it and driving it changes everything. It turns curiosity into conviction. One of the biggest updates came when Tom, from the Aptera team, confirmed that they're finalizing a $75 million equity line of credit with new circle capital. That's not small change. This move gives them financial flexibility a steady stream of capital they can draw from as production ramps up. Pair that with their IPO launch, and you've got a company that's building a strong, diversified financial foundation. To put it simply, they're not just hoping investors show up. They've built the bridge before crossing the river. Now, let's talk about the stock. Aptera's shares have been moving between $8.85 and $11, which might sound modest, but that's typical for early-stage innovators. The real story isn't the price today. It's what happens when production begins. Because once they start rolling vehicles off the line, those numbers could change dramatically. Investors love results, and Aptera's roadmap, if executed well, could turn early believers into long-term winners. So when can we expect to see Aptera on the road? Steve Fambro himself confirmed it. Once full funding is secured, we're looking at about 9 to 12 months until launch. That's a clear, confident timeline. And the best part? 
Funding efforts are actively in motion right now. If all goes as planned, this time next year, we could be seeing Apteras gliding silently down highways, powered by the sun. A symbol of what's possible when vision meets persistence. Aptera isn't only building a vehicle, they're building a movement. Every challenge they've faced, every delay, every pivot has been a lesson in resilience. Chris and Steve didn't just create another EV. They created hope for a world where energy independence meets environmental responsibility. The beauty of Aptera is in its simplicity. It needs less energy to move. It can charge itself using sunlight. It can potentially go hundreds of miles on a single charge. That's not just efficient, that's revolutionary. As Aptera continues to secure funding and validate production, the excitement is palpable. They've checked nearly every box on their development chart. Now, it's about execution. And that's something this team has proven they can handle. Sure, there's risk. Every startup faces it. But if there's one thing Aptera's story has shown, it's that determination outlasts doubt. So, what do you think? Has Aptera done enough to convince you that production is finally within reach? From what we've seen, the financing, the partnerships, the mission, they're not just inching toward success. They're accelerating into it. I'm excited. You should be too. The age of solar mobility is almost here, and Aptera might just be the company that lights the way.